the plow if we could go in their fields to search for arrowhead. We found hundreds of them and even four grinding bowls. Helen Harsher and I went to the White House while our fathers were visiting with President Eisenhower in the Oval Office. I just recalled it a few years ago. My brother Joe checked it out and it was true. Eisenhower always said, beware of the military complex. Wisely until this day, I do not know why they were there. Our neighbors in Chatham W are lovely people. The Hall Sun family and mine assumed we were married. He was at Yale University. And I will say it a thousand times. I never planned a thing in my life. Tim had a boat for water skiing. He brought along a friend from Columbia University. My husband to be. After a party at my mom, he returned the ice cream and pebbles at my window. I told him to go home. And after many beautiful letters from Columbia from him, he went on up. Later, living in Harlem, New York, we had a baby boy. The most beautiful baby. A blessing in my life. President Obama was one of his classmates. I am most proud of my son Rob and he left his wonderful job with great advertising to help care for his father who was dying of pancreatic cancer. In Harlem, New York, I had a traumatic experience that shaped my life forever. Going down to the clinic in Harlem, New York with my baby, with money and identification always under my socks and my shoes because of all the drug addicts. told me what would happen to my baby. I vowed I would never let that happen in my life again. In Brazil, a man caught on fire prepping his brother and I stopped and rolled him in the grass. The general police lawyer were upset with me. I did not care what they thought. After my husband left Colombia, he worked for General Foods and then applied for a White House fellows program. And was accepted. Now, the excitement began. Assist to Secretary of Commerce to Secretary of State. This was during the Nixon administration with Abner as the Vice President. As I have mentioned before, I was alone for the ride when Doug's dad was inducted in the Hall of Fame of Wrestling, and I stopped to say, Hello. Doug was impressed. We met with all the top people in the Nixon administration. But my favorite was Donald Rumsfeld and his lovely wife, Mrs. Rumsfeld. Romney's mother. She sent me a lovely note. If you recall, George was shown to me general crazy white like was my lunch and the day after she had locked herself in the bathroom drunk. And told the press in every newspaper in Washington. D.C. had the story you could see she was a beauty fan. Wearing three in heels, which was not becoming at her age, in her late 50s life. After the White House fellow program, we were off to Mexico City. Each new country, I would tell my children, guess what? Have your toys, we are going on a new adventure. And they seemed to enjoy the adventures. Where I met our main All fun in Latin America came with a stack of people. Even a lady who owns your clothes. The story goes, her parents were so poor they had to give her to a lovely family so that she would not starve. Where she learned to be a maid. I learned she could not read or write, so off to school I sent her. I knew she was bright. After the first day of school, she said, Senora, I do not want to go to school. There is a boy next to me, and he makes me so nervous. Hillary married him later. So, happy for her. Robert's son and our daughter Sue went to a Mexican school and learned their Spanish. We were boys and girls skipped rope together. We had the cutest kitten named Gordito Mini Cat. We took the Pesco's cabs and other passengers on the main road down to a beautiful park with rowboats we would rent and row 